Hey guys, I'm glad to be back after a bit longer of a break than I meant to take. I have been struggling with laziness and laying around and not feeling much at all like painting. And so finally today, I found enough motivation to get in here and start on some work. So anyways, tonight I will be blocking in the color on the painting behind me. And I had shared the time lapse of me just kind of sketching out the rough sketch. Um, I've talked before about every artist kind of comes up with their own process of what works for them. And so mine is just to have a black background and then sketch it out um, with white paint really loosely. You'll notice like my angles are not correct. And I'll work on that stuff as I go and um, do the best I can. That's um, a weakness of mine is working with angles and getting that stuff, the perspective exactly right. And so um, I know that right now it's rough, but I'll continue to work on that. Um, my next step in the process is to block in my color. A lot of times, um, I like to do re really detailed work because I'm, I don't know, a bit of a perfectionist. And so even though like, I typically prefer abstract artwork like to decorate my house with, I tend to work more um, in a realistic manner and try to fit in all those details. And so that can feel really overwhelming. Um, when you have like a city scene and you see all the windows on the buildings and all the reflections and all the different things. And so blocking in color kind of helps you feel like you got a lot of work done in a small amount of time. It kind of creates like a map for you like, hey, this building is going to be blue. It's already blue. Now I've just got to go in add the darks, the lights and, you know, things like that. So it just kind of takes... Um, some of that overwhelming feeling, it kind of lessens it and kind of helps you feel more like, okay, I can accomplish this. I can get started. So if you are struggling with working through, staying motivated, know that you're not the only one, first of all. And second, try to figure out a way to break it into smaller pieces um, so that it feels more manageable for your brain. Because it's almost like mind games, like telling myself, hey, I can do this. And I have to kind of psych myself up for every painting I do. I always kind of have that fear still, like, can I really do this? You know, have I forgotten how to do it? And so, you just have to kind of jump in there um, and, and make it happen. But figure out your process, break it down into some small steps that you can stick with that'll help you feel like, hey, I can do this. I remember now. And so that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm doing an easy step, just blocking in color to kind of make it feel like I've gotten a little bit further so my mind feels ready for the next step. So anyways, here we go. Okay, so that was what I meant when I said I was going to go in and block in the color. I just very loosely and roughly put it on there, but now I feel like I'm light years ahead of where I was just a little while ago. And so now I'll be able to move on to the next step where I start going in and adding some detail um, and making things come to life more. So anyways, I hope this inspired you to stick with your goals even when it's hard and to break it down into some steps that will help you get there. See you soon.